Hello all, welcome to my channel. In our last video, we are finished with reproductive unit of angiosperm that is flower. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the pollination. Indirectly, pollination is the sexual reproduction in angiospermic plant. So, what is the pollination exact? Pollination is the transfer of a pollen grain from anther of one flower to stigma of another flower or same flower. Basically, it is the transformation of a pollen grain from anther to stigma. So, let us discuss. Before going to the discussion, if you are not subscribed my channel yet, Please subscribe and stay tuned with. So, as I say, it is the process of a sexual reproduction in flowering plant. Depending upon the source of pollen grain and pollination, pollination are of three types. That is, autogamy, Chitinogami and Xenogami. Autogami special for self pollination. Xenogami is for cross pollination. So let us discuss one by one. In Autogami, the pollination process is taken place by the transformation of a pollen from anther of a flower to the stigma of a same flower as i say here is also the head is self pollination means transfer of a pollen grain from anther of the plant flower to the stigma of a same flower is known as self pollination or autogamy autogamy further classified into cleistogamy and homogamy so First is cleistogamy. In the plants, flower never open and the anther is dehyces inside this closed flower to ensure pollination. In case of cleistogamy, the flower is a closed flower. Suppose here is the cleistogamous flower. Closed flower and it is contain both anther and the stigma. Suppose here is the anther and here is the stigma this anther brost and the pollen grain transfer to this stigma as the flower is closed there is no chance of cross pollination and the pollen grain transfer to the stigma of a same flower example is oxalis and faula here is the example here is the photographic image of clase to gramus pollination homogamy also one type of self pollination where the anther and the stigma mature at the same time so the pollen grain from the same flower is transferred or reached to the stigma of that flower so it is homogamy means the same the reproductive part are mature at the same time and self pollination taken place next is zetinogamy it is a kind of a pollination where the pollen grain from the anther of a flower are transformed zetinogamy means cross pollination means there are two flower here is the example of cucurbita family pumpkin example here is a male flower and a female flower so these are the honeybees and some insect which are visit the plant for the purpose of nectar or feeding upon the pollen grain and when it visit to another plant another flower it carry the pollen grain in their wing or legs and pollen grains are transformed so the flower is different transformation of a pollen grain from one flower to another flower so it is so it is called cross pollination 
usually it is so in monoecious condition where both male and female reproductive part means anther and stigma are not present in same flower the flower is two types dioecious that is male flower and female flower so that cross pollination taken place example cucurbita here is the flower of cucurbita also next it is genugami it involved in the transfer of a pollen grain from one flower to another flower this is only type of pollination which bring genetically different types of a pollen grain to the stigma during pollination here pure cross pollination taken place pollen grain transfer from one plant to another plant in last slide here in zetonogami the plant is same cucurbita here is the male flower here is the female flower plant is same single plant two types of flowers are there but but here in genogamy two plants are there one plant bearing male flower another bearing female flower the pollen grains are transferred from this to this for example papaya maize etc next is pollination according to agency depending upon agency pollination are divided into two types that is biotic and abiotic under biotic agent that is wind pollinated wind pollination that is anemophily and water pollination that is hydrophily and again in under biotic agent mammals reptiles birds insect that is entomophily zoophily so let us discuss the pollination according to agency first one is under biotic abiotic that is anemophily means wind pollinated flower here the flowers are small colorless inconspicuous nectarless and became arranged as a inflorescence here this is the example colorless white in color nectar cell also absent so any pollen vector don't have the chance to visit this flower especially pollen vector visit for attraction for colored for smell for nectar but these are colorless no nectar glands are there so pollination takes place by wind also the pollen glands are very light in weight dry and dusty non sticky so it is easily travel through the wind even some pollen glands also wing especially anemophilous pollination takes place in monocots next is hydrophily means pollination takes place by water it is quite rare in flowering plant and it is limited to about 30 genera mostly in monocot ladens it is very common plant especially algae bryophyte and pteridophyte here the fertilization is takes place by the help of water as the spores are biflagellate they swims in the water and reach in the destination point flowers are small colorless inconspicuous odorless and nectarless pollen grains and stigma are generally unwettable the stigma are long sticky for example valisneria it is the long stigma and it is a sticky but all the aquatics are don't pollinate not pollinated sorry not pollinated by hydrophily some are also pollinated by insect here is the example of hyacinth where the pollination is takes place by insect but in case of some submerged hydrophytes like valisneria hydrilla justera the pollination is takes place by water hence hydrophily 
Next is entomophily where insects are responsible for the pollination. Insects have ne flowers have a nectar gland and are highly frag fragrant to attract the insect. The surface of a pollen gland is sticky due to exine layer and the stigma is sticky due to mucilaginous layer. Stigma is sticky so that when the pollen vector visit to the that plant the pollen grains are attached with the sticky stigma. Some species floral rewards are provided to safe place to lay eggs for example tallest flower in amorphilus here is the amorphilus. Some insects are lay egg inside this. Also in yucca plant here is the yucca these are the moth this one is moth this one is moth this one also moth as the white moth and the flower is white it's not visible but these three are the moth the moth deposits its egg inside the locule this locule inside this locule the moth lays egg and after gradually when the seeds are developed start developing the eggs are start hatching and the moth are comes out so these are the entomophilus pollination, pollination by insect. Here is the honeybee, moth, and other ant. These are the pollination takes place by bird and pollination takes place by bat, chiropterophily and ornithophily. Ornithophily by bird, chiropterophily by animal. Here is the example of a bat. Here is the bat sock nectar by his tongue. So when pollination takes place by bat called chiropterophily and pollination takes place by bat is known as ornithophily. Sorry, pollination takes place by bat is known as ornithophily and chiropterophily pollination takes place by animal, especially bat. Here we finish with the types of pollination. If you have any query, please comment in the comment box. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.